Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back once again to the top 20 NFL players in the year of 2022. We begin the top 20 off with JC Jackson. Bit of Jackson action for you. JC Jackson, I thought, played for the Patriots. I've got a, I've got a, a I've got a, a face in my mind. I've got a guy in my, in my head. He's got a bald head uh, with glasses. He's back there at the back as a corner. I'm thinking JC Jackson. Patriots comes to mind. Is it him? Well, he's listed as being a charger, so I guess time will tell. And really, there's only one way to find out. Let's get into the video. The dog. Freaking dog. I mean, I, I, mean, I literally think it might have been his rookie. Najee's not listening. I mean, who's he talking Here to? Here we played him. I was like, people aren't talking about this dude, but this dude is like... No, there's two separate conversations. It's a pro bowl. Oh. Right, so Mahomes is a real fan. He was on the list last year. I reckon it is him. JC Jackson. Is. Think he should be in the top 100? For sure. JC go be in the top 100 for sure. Another corner that I like is JC Jackson. I think he's very underrated. So he does play for the Patriots. To, uh, talking about cornerbacks, and I'm not sure why. It's hard to tell exactly who they are underneath that helmet. Am I right? Intercepted. JC Jackson. Great, that's a hell of a catch, man. That is a hell of a catch. Nice job. Well, just goes about his business. Big Bill likes it. You know, that half of the field is just cut off. Just the way he matches people's patterns, and it's almost like he's a receiver out there. Well, I am led to believe, Mac, that uh, only the best receivers become receivers. The ones who can't catch go on the defense. Don't at me, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just repeating what, what I was told. I think for a position like that, it's kind of an isolated position, right? And just to end up with the ball in your hands, whether that's interception. Oh, well, he's certainly got hops. End up with the ball in your hands. Have a look at this. Whether that's interception. Speaking of which, let's look at his stats and let's confirm if it's the man that I was thinking of. No, no, it's not. Not one bit. This man actually has hair on his head, and he looks a fair bit younger. I will find out before this video is over who on earth I was talking about. But, Gerald, 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 what am I talking about? Gerald, I'm getting a bit, getting a bit carried away here. We are in the top 20. Gerald Christopher Jackson, born November 17th, 1995, 6 foot 1, and 198 pounds. Went to Florida in 2015, Maryland 2016 to 17, was undrafted, picked up by the Patriots, so, you know, I'll... I'll Old Billy Boy, Bill Belichick, obviously saw something that others didn't. And uh, he's been at the Patriots from 18 to 21. Now he's at the Chargers. He's a Super Bowl champion, would you believe? He's, he's, got, he's got one. He's got one of those elusive Super Bowl rings. Worth about 30 grand on eBay, I'm led to believe. Pro Bowl in 2021. He came into the league uh, with a 4.46 40-yard dash. That's absolutely elite speed. 35 and a half inch vertical jump. We did see that before. 10 foot on the broad jump, 14 reps on the bench, and stayed well away from the wonder look. So he's picked up as an undrafted free agent to a three-year $1.72 million contract that included a signing bonus of 10 grand. He made the roster, clearly. At, oh my, what? And three, oh, see, this is what can happen, guys. Undrafted. You just got to back yourself. You got you to gotta be in the right team, even though he has traded now. But I think being around the right coach can really help. And, and what he's done in three short years is nothing short of amazing. He's gone from being undrafted in 2018 to signing on March 16th, 2022, a five-year, $82.5 million contract with the LA Chargers. Super Bowl winner in his rookie season, played 13 games during that season, and three in the postseason. So I'm going to say he, he, he well and truly deserved that ring. He played a, a, decent, a decent old part in the team. But as far as this year is concerned, it's career highs in multiple statistics. 17 games played, 58 combined tackles, 44 solo, 14 assisted, 8 interceptions for 92 yards at an average of 11.5, and a longest of 88 for a touchdown. Actually, that might not be for a touchdown, but he did score one. 23 passes deflected, which led the league. So 8 interceptions, 23 passes deflected, and it looks as if he's taken... One interception, straight to the house. Not bad at all, but he's certainly not the guy who I thought he was. Either way, let's continue. Fumble, fourth fumble. Just always find a way to make a play on the ball. Mm -hmm. 
a ball hawk. Sticky so and coverage. He's got a nice number too. If you didn't know, now you know. 27 is my lucky number. Always was, always will be. So, respect. Respect to that. Down the right side for Cooper. Jackson oh. knocks it away. Carolina Panthers. He had two picks, one for a touchdown. Oh, yeah? Goodbye. The 20. Is it is 88 so yards for a touchdown. Down. 40 at the 50 with 446 40 yard dash speed. I mean, 88 yard pick six. I mean, old Sideshow Sideshow Rob, you know, did did put up a, a pretty <laughs> a pretty decent effort, but couldn't get there in the end. Um, we won't do it against the Jets. All nice. right, so, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. <laughs> oh, against Darnold though? Come on. Oh yeah. I can't. I can't win. I can't win. Well, that didn't make sense. What's crazy about this one is there's no safety help. That took an inside release, and he let him, knowing he didn't have safety help, and then he makes a play. Either he knew the route and the concept, or he was so confident that if he had broke across the middle, where there's no safety help, he was still in a position to undercut it and get the ball. Obviously, he make plays on the ball. What, missed the interception? I mean, okay, well, let's say the throw was two foot longer and a foot higher. He may not have got there, right? It's a game of inches. It's a game of feet. It's a game of yards. But he backed himself. And I will say, I mean, he's probably got that athletic ability to allow just that extra step just to let the route develop and still have that confidence to shut it down if need be, if the ball comes to him. And that's what, this is that's like what we saw just there. Instagram name. You see he changed his uh, IG name to Mr. INT, so uh, that's what it is, man. He makes plays. JC Jackson is Mr. Pick! Mr. Interception with eight for the year. Now, I'm not going to say that eight picks is, is irrelevant, but it's, it's certainly not top of the league. If I was to change the name, I think I'd say Mr. PD. And that's not police detention. That's passes deflected. Mr. Interception has 25 in the past four years, most in the league. Oh, shit. The okay. So overall, 25 in, in four years. Let's have a look at that. 20, 25 interceptions in four years. The most in the league over the last four years. Even though he only had three in his rookie season and five in his second season. He went nine in 2020, eight in 2021. So, I mean, I won't say that he started with a bang. But he did only start five games in that rookie season. So, you know, starting five games, three interceptions, not bad. 17 games this year, eight interceptions, 25 total. Well, I guess I take that back. He is Mr. INT. New Charger is the highest ranked of seven bolts. Oh, ah, sticks his foot in the ground too. They joined the 2017 Seahawks as the only teams ever with seven top 60 players. Look at the hands on JC Jackson, Mr. INT. Mr. INT, you know, <laughs> he's always good for... The power of Instagram, eh? So, did they say the Chargers are the only team with seven players in the top 60? The first team to do it since the Seahawks back in the the glory days, you could say. All right. I'm not going to try and name them all, but if we're talking 20, who have we got to go? Chargers. Bosa? Jackson started the pinball and finished it with the pick. I mean, yeah, the man's everywhere. I must admit, um, very enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, look, I, I must admit, guys, this is a, this is a, a real mammoth project, and and I've taken a break. I took a break between uh, between drinks, you could say. I had a few drinks. Took a break between number twenty one and twenty. Not only because I I had to actually wait for the videos to be released, but also because you know I I look, I needed a break. Anyway, we're back. I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm going to roll through these as best I can. Not as fast I can, but as effective and as efficient as I can. Am I talking shit? Most probably. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we look at Debo Samuel, and he is absolute dynamite out there, isn't he? In fact, I've got a good story about uh, fantasy football and Debo Samuel. Either way, catch you later.